you are considering buying or already own but have not tried yet using the Apple AirPods Max for Atmos mixing with the Dolby renderer or you just want to use your Maxes to listen to your Atmos files using the renderer. Can you? Do they work? Do they do the do? Well, yes and no, but hang on, I'll explain. Greetings, I am Pat and I work closely with major and indie labels and artists, helping them reach more fans and make more money. And today I'm gonna show you what happens when you use AirPods Max to mix or listen to your Atmos mixes via the external Dolby renderer. And finally, I will share with you my suggestions on how to use the Maxes to get the best out of them. Let's check our settings real quick. Settings, audio, output device, Dolby Audio Bridge, input device, Dolby Audio Bridge, large buffer size, so we're all cool. Let's check the renderer, Dolby Atmos renderer, Preferences, 24 frames per second, 96 kilohertz, audio input devices, the Dolby Audio Bridge. So out of logic, through the Dolby Audio Bridge, into the Dolby Renderer. Our output device here is set to my monitoring, but we'll set that up to the uh, headphones. Check the renderer. Aha! Let's put on our headphones. Logic is asking me if I want to use them, but I will say no. Otherwise, we will not be going through the Dolby Atmos renderer, the external application. Okay, So don't use. Let's go into our Dolby Atmos application now, and we'll select Preferences. And as our output device, we will use Pat's AirPods Max. Accept. Uh-oh! We cannot use the AirPods Max at 96K. Why? They are a 48K device. So, let's try. So here we are in our project. See here it says 96K. I'm going to change that to 48. Now I'm going to go to my renderer. And change the sample rate here. What? Let's see if we can find out if there's a buffer size setting somewhere. Let's go back to logic, see if we change the buffer in logic if that changes anything. Let's see. Let's change it to 256. We won't be able to do any work at 256. Let's restart the render. So there you have it. We cannot use our AirPods Max to monitor through the Dolby Atmos render. Let's see if we can play something through and listen through the AirPods Max. So same thing, we cannot use AirPods Max to monitor. This needs further investigation. Let's try headphone only mode. Headphones only mode. Except. Same thing. Still can do it. Let's try through our monitor controllers. I use Ginger Audio's Sphere. Okay, so this is playing here. Go to Sphere. Okay, this song is not released yet, so I can't play it for you. But it looks like it's working, but it is not. The only thing you hear is crackling and the music all the way in the back. Um, that's, there's something going on, some sort of a misalignment of, of sample rates or something. Let's see if we, if we do headphones only here. Routing is left, right? No, it does the same thing. It stops intermittently and there's crackling. If anyone has any idea, please let us know. I'll look into it to find out more information, see if we can solve this. Uh, but let me know. 
In the meantime, I do have a suggestion for you. To mix or listen, use standard headphones connected standardly. To check binaural or listen with head tracking and be checking Apple's spatial audio decoding algorithm at the same time, export your work in MP4. Something which you can only do through the renderer as of the time of this video. Unless I'm missing something, and if I am, please share the info in the comments. Then load that in the Files app on your iPhone, connect your AirPods Max, and get into the Atmos on headphones bliss. Check out the head tracking. It is crazy. Let me say here that you can check binaural and spatial on regular headphones. You just can't do the head tracking and other digital goodies like HRTF, which are though important. Having said that, if you don't have a PHRTF, a personalized head-related transfer function, set one up very fast and easy. I have a video in the works to show you how, but till then, check out this video on how to mix with the AirPods using the Dolby renderer that comes built in your DAW.